how to convert Fortnite from looking like this to ultra low graphics with better FPS, better performance. Here is the video where I'll show you some simple steps in order to do so. First and foremost, what you have to do is you have to come in your PC or your laptop and you have to go to your search bar over here in the bottom left hand corner and type in run. This window will pop up. Here you have to type percentage, app data percentage, click OK. Once app data load, go to app data, double click and open local. Scroll down, you will find the folder called as Fortnite game, double click and open it, go to save, config, windows client and you will find a file called as game user settings. Right click on it, go to properties, make sure that read only is not tick, click apply, click ok, double click and open the file. Inside the file we have to change a couple of settings in order to move forward. First and foremost setting which you will see immediately after opening the file is B show grass. For most of the players this may be true by default so make sure this is false. Once this is done you have to scroll down to the bottom and you're gonna find one more setting called as B use vsync. Make sure this is false as well. After that you have to scroll down more to the very bottom and you will find scalability groups. First and foremost the resolution quality by default will be on 100. 0 .000. You have to make sure you put a little bit of lesser number like when you play Fortnite you won't see much of a difference between 100 and 95 or 92. So I have put on 92 which is far more the lowest one. When I go below 90 it shows me a bit of a difference so I would suggest that 92 is the best for me. So you can play with the settings of 92, 93, 94 whichever feels better for you. After that view distance quality is number 3, anti-aliasing 0, shadows this will be 0 as well. Post processing quality will be 3, texture quality I'll put it on 1, effects 1, foliage and shading 0. Once you have done all these settings go to the file on the top, click on save, close the file, right click on it, go to properties, make sure you tick read only, click apply, click ok. Next thing what you're gonna do is you have to go to your browser and in your browser you have to type NVIDIA Profile Inspector. So if you click on the very first link which is showing, open it up and then you have to scroll down you will find NVIDIA Profile Inspector zip. Click on this, it will download, it's a very small file, it will download it. Once you have downloaded the file, go to that folder, open the application. Once you open the application, it will look something like this as you can see. Here first and foremost thing what you have to do is you have to go to the profile section over here, click on this and in here you have to type Fortnite. Once you choose Fortnite, it will load your Fortnite. Fortnite EXE, Fortnite Client EXE and Fortnite Client Win64 EXE as well. So whatever settings we're going to do over here it will apply for all the EXEs that Fortnite has. First and foremost thing what you have to change is you have to come to sync and refresh and you will find vertical sync. Make sure this is forced off. By default it will be on use 3D application settings. Make sure this is forced off. For that you scroll down you will find something called as anti-aliasing, transparency, super sampling. Make sure you choose over here mode replay mode all. After that scroll down in the texture filtering you have to choose texture filter driver control LOD bias make sure this is off and texture filtering LOD bias DX and OGL both will be on plus 3. After that texture filtering quality will be on high quality. Then you have to scroll down again make sure you see all these settings that is the API is on D3D compact is on 3. After that on extras you will find async shader scheduler flags make sure you choose this particular value from here that is bad heuristic disable heuristic for detecting multiple apps spreading compiling shaders. Once you have done this go to the top and click on apply over here. Since I have already applied so I am not going to do that it's already applied. So once you have done this close the application and you will see your game will convert from this to this and you will get better FPS for sure. So if you are struggling with FPS you try the settings it will reduce your graphics and it will make your game much more smoother and moreover you will get far more better FPS on what you are currently getting. So that was a video quite plain and simple hope this video helped you if it did please don't forget to like button consider subscribing my channel if you are new here. I will see you in the next video thank you so much for watching bye bye.